There are followers of Ari's fanatics up ahead. Who was he going to meet? I should find out. What was that all about? The military suspects me of smuggling deserters from the war front. Okay, fine. They knew I was doing it. Mm-hmm. My luck is guards. They hit like bricks. Did you see a man on your way here? A skinny sort of idiot, wearing army colors. I found a body near a cliff in the gulch. He had a note on him. No, 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 he can't be dead. We had the perfect plan to get him home to his wife. I promised her I wouldn't let him end up like the other deserters. You must be close to him to risk your life to help. Or he was paying you a lot. I... I did it for the girl. Girl? What girl? His wife? There's always a girl, isn't there? Look, he got drafted into the war. She wouldn't stop crying. And my speciality is making people disappear in a different way than you do. So, I decided to help them get back together. You just want her for yourself. That's not it. I mean, I have thought about it, but look, I just, I just uh, want to see her smile. All right? I'm sure you do. <sighs> we need to get to Isabel, I mean the wife. If the guards come after me, she'll be in danger too. Please, go to her. I'll catch up when I can take her to safety. I'll make sure she's safe. Where will I find her? Follow the road to Kithonia. Her house will be on the left. Look for the green cloth on the doorpost. Quickly! I'll catch up as soon as I can. Here. Who in the God's names are you? Enjoy this. It looks like she put up a good fight. I saw the guards dead outside. <laughs> good job, Mistyos. They got to her before me. There was nothing I could do but adventure. She trusted me, Mistyos. All I wanted was to make her smile. But every time I tried, all I brought her was pain. It's all I ever do. I shouldn't have told her about my stupid plan to reunite her with her husband. I did this to her, didn't I? No, you didn't. Nobody wanted things to end like this. Least of all you. Everything seemed okay when she smiled, you know? I didn't care who she was smiling at. You did your best. No one's best is ever enough. No. No, it's not. Take this. I was going to give it to her when I helped them escape Kithonia. To get them through tough times. They won't need it anymore, and it's too heavy for me to bear. Take it as payment for your troubles. And leave me, please. Miss Dios, please. I could use your help. What seems to be the problem? There is serious unrest in Kithonia, Mistyos. The guards and merchants are at each other's throats. The guards are here to serve the locals. What's got them riled up? <sighs> taxes. The merchants refuse to pay the increased taxes, and the guards all too gleefully extract them. Their captain, Viocles, is more a bandit than a guard. This unrest is bad for business. I need you to quiet some of the outbursts around Kithonia. A power-mad captain? Civil unrest? Sounds like serious work. <laughs> which would be seriously rewarded. I have precious gems which I'm sure would appeal to someone such as yourself. 
I'd be happy to help. <laughs> Good. Now, you will find the areas of tension around the Agora, the Eastern Market, and the docks. Is there anything else I can tell you? I've heard everything I need to hear. Do what you must to bring order, but watch your back. There are people who seek to benefit from this civil unrest. And we're counting on you, Mistios. Mistios. That doesn't sound like justice to me. Why do you care? These are the families of the guards who beat us and harass us. This is what they deserve. These increased taxes are ridiculous. They choke the very life out of us. We must stand. We must fight. There's no need for violence. We can talk this over. Talk? Huh? They've smashed our wares. They've beaten us. They have, yes. And maybe they should pay. But this family has done nothing. This child has done nothing. They're innocent. But a lesson must be learned. We must teach them not to mess with us. This is not the way. They paid you off, didn't they? You, you work for them. Have it your way, Mistios. The woman and her child will not be harmed, but we're not done with you. We have our own scary mercenaries. here. This Malacca needs to pay his taxes like everyone else. Otherwise, we'll smash every last pot in the Agora. Captain Diocles orders. If that's what it takes to stop this, I'll destroy the rest of the wares. <laughs> Looks like you know your place, little Mistios. Now, get to it. Stop! Please! I need to sell these. My family's livelihood depends on it. That should teach him. For your efforts. I expect to have you help us in the future as well. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. Malacca city is this, where the guards prey on their own people. It's simple. You avoid your taxes, we take your stuff. Now, step away. Or what? Mistios, please, talk some sense into these idiots. If we aren't allowed to continue doing our business, the economy of Kidonia will fall to ruin. This does not concern you, Mistios. This is the law of the land. If they give up the goods, all will end well. Your taxes will go a long way in helping Kidonia. You should respect the law. The military barely does a thing around here and expects a bigger and bigger payout each year. Nonsense! You see, Mistios, nothing will get through their thick skulls. But my fists will. Now get out of my way before I take you out too. <laughs> Fighting me would be your last mistake! Malaka, what happened here? Looks like 
Captain Diocles denied me my payment. And you must be Diocles. Look at this! You want to meddle in It's going to cost you. Captain had the decency to keep my gems on him. Never stand between Amistheus and her payday. I told you to be careful! Something happened to your shipment? Huh? Did something happen to your shipment? Yes! Idiots happened! They dropped it and shattered my obsidian glass! You were carrying it too! Did you say something, whelp? I said, curse those clumsy fools! Exactly! Now I need more obsidian. If you can bring me some, Mistyos, my finest blade shall be yours. Do we have a deal? I'll get you your... What? Is that a yes? Did she say... She sure did, boss! Idiot! Wonderful! My apprentice here will tell you where to find the obsidian. Thanks for doing this, else he wouldn't have sat up. There are stashes of the stuff in the Temple of Britomartis and the sunken ruins. If you have any questions, point them at me. I've had enough of his booming voice for one day. I've got all I need. I'll be back with the obsidian glass. She's going to get your stuff now! Wonderful! Return quickly, Mistyos. Please hurry. My ears can't take any more of his complaining. Here's your obsidian glass. Excellently done, Mistyos. She got the stuff! Oh, well done, Mistyos. Take my blade. May it serve you well. Now he'll finally shut up for a beat. I heard that. Imbivoglis can lead us all to meet. What seems to be the problem? Imbivoglis be praised, Amistheus! I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich! His god is a Malacca, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said... rich? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. These priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He deserves worship. You're threatened by a mob, but you want me to save him, not you. Sounds like quite the god. Only Imbedoglis can lead us to his brothers and sisters on Mount Olympus. He's far more important than any one man. Surely you cannot be considering helping these lunatics. You would oppose the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mistyos. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? I know all I need. Your Embedocles will be freed. Do not worry for my safety, Mistyos. It is Embedocles who needs your help. He's over there. There's the Murex fort. If 
back in. Do you see, feeble humans? I, the great Empedocles, cannot be caged. Worship me. And I offer you an audience. With the gods. Put down your blades. I offer those who follow me an audience with my brothers and sisters. Do not stop my godly crop. Look upon my form. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience. Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me, and I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! I saw Embedocles risk his greatest treasure, running naked through a military camp and showed no fear. There is clearly something special about this man. You've made no friends today. Who needs friends when I have the gods? Thank you for your support, Mystios. In the future, my Empedocletes could use someone with your talents. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. Gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it and return it to you. Found him. The confidence! If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods on Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me! Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mystios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice!
For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you. Ares demands your audience. That's a big promise. You doubt me? I doubt you could get us to the ocean. It's behind you, by the way. How dare you mock? I... I'm a god! A god! What am I? Uh... A god? Thanks for clearing that up. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it. Ah. I hear you, my brothers, by... You see? They're here! The, the gods are... behind this door! Listen. I didn't mean to be away so long. Kithera is... Well, if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too! There is something there. And whatever is making that noise must be two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use the disc! Open the door! They're expecting us! Whatever is inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! The gods! Creators of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the heaven! <laughs> Let's see if I can cheer him up.
down on your luck? Have I got a solution for you? What's all this about? It's about adventure, thrills, danger, and untold fortunes. I love a good adventure. If you've got the drachmi and the time, I've got a once-in-a-lifetime adventure just for you. Tell me more. Secrecy is key, Mystios. We can't just have anyone knowing there's a fortune to be found. But first, everything has a price. Pay up, and I'll give you a tablet with everything you need to know. Here you go. Excellent. Here you go. This tablet will lead you directly to untold riches. What? Just tell me where... The tablet reveals all. What does that even mean? Just look at the tablet and follow the directions, Mystios. My work here is done. Off the east coast of Kithira, on Veakofti Island, your reward awaits. Empty? I'm going to snap that man's neck in two. What's going on? The chest was empty. Inconceivable. Maybe you don't know how to read a tablet? I guarantee you there's something inside. How can you be so sure? Because I'm the one who put it there. Uh, I mean, Malaka. No, no, no! Okay. You killed my son! A Mystios? You'll be punished for what you've done. I... I didn't murder your son. It wasn't me. The gods have sent you to help me, haven't they? This crime will not go unpunished. Tell me what you need. Nemesis has heard my cries! What's going on? My son was murdered at the Murex warehouse. His head smashed in like an egg. It was Kithira's leader. I heard them arguing in the warehouse. Then why didn't you stop them? You lie! Go to the warehouse and find out who killed my son, Mystios. Justice must be served. Your son's death will not go unpunished. I'll go to the warehouse and see what I can find. Find out who the murderer is, Mystios. I'll make sure this Malaka stays put. I'm innocent! You'll see! This looks like the place. Oh, Malaka, that smell! Who knew dye so foul would be so expensive? This bracelet looks expensive. They could be gifts from the daughters. Or an attempt to frame Kithira's leader. Not much blood, and his head was bashed in. Probably a blunt weapon. This must be the murder weapon. It's caked in dry blood. And heavy, too. There's no way the little guy could have swung this. What did you find, Mystios? I searched the warehouse and found a gold bracelet and a heavy stone tablet covered in blood. See? I told you you'll find gifts from the leader's daughters. It's not proof of innocence. What's this about a stone tablet? Tablet? I don't know of any tablet. Mystios, tell me who murdered my son. This worm 
or Kithira's leader. If the fort leader is as strong as you say, only he could have lifted a tablet like the one I saw. <laughs> There's no way this scrawny thief could have swung it like a weapon. Then kill Kithira's leader. You will be paid when he ceases to draw breath. And make it a slow, painful execution. It will be done. Thank you, Mistios, for clearing my name. You're not allowed to. gift from the goddess herself and by the fates she chose well you're making me blush stranger and I could do so much more I'm not sure about all of that but you can definitely fight I may be a priestess of love but I also bite I always Fight. One has to be bold to attack a priestess. You must be important. I am Dioni, a simple acolyte born to serve Aphrodite. These thugs are dogs of the cult of Cosmos, and this has not been the first attempt on my life. The cult? Tell me all that you know. Now. Not here. We'll be safer in the city. Escort me? Let's go. You can tell me everything you know about the cult when we arrive. I'm safe here. The cult of Cosmos would never strike inside the city. Good. Tell me more about them. Right now? <laughs> At least let me catch my breath. ...and take a good, long look at your beautiful self. Enough idle chatter. Tell me what you know about the cult. If you insist. We've always kept tabs on the cult, and lately they've gotten bolder. By the fates, they've driven my sister, the High Priestess, to lock herself in her chambers. A cult leader must be involved if they are trying to kill such a public figure. We're not dealing with the usual rats. My sister wants me to secure Kithra from the cult and sniff out the cultists behind her troubles. Risking your life while she hides away? Ridiculous! Sadly, her life is more valuable to Kithra than my own. By the fates, Mistios, I can't secure Kithira by myself. You've got to help me. Secure Kithira? I don't work for free. A Mistios indeed. The cult has plans for the Greek world. And with my ways, I know what they will do next and where they plan to do it. I imagine this information would be useful to you. Or, if that isn't enough to satisfy you, I will. Well, it has been a while since I've... ...communed with the gods. And don't worry. Vrachmi will also be given for your services. You drive a hard bargain. So what do you need me to do? Just three simple tasks. First, my associate by the harbor needs help. Pay him a visit. What else? My sister believes she has leads on a traitor within our ranks. 
If that's true, she'll need your help. Look for her in the temple. And lastly, poisoned blades are a priestess's weapon of choice. But some bandits sacked our apothecaries and have taken refuge in the Mykinian ruins. Well, if it's not the cult, it's my luckiest bandits. Retrieve our poison vials. They will come in handy when fighting against the cult. I'll do what I can for you and Kithira. Thank you, Mistios. Perhaps when all this is over, we could unwind together. Priorities, Leonie. I'll see you later. I take it you're the harbor master? I, I told you. I'll pay when I get paid. The Oni sent me. She said you needed help. The, the Oni? Wait, wait, wait! Who are you? I'm just helping her out. She has some information I want. Liar! I bet you want her more than you want information, don't you? Just tell me what needs to be done. Huh? You think you can do better than I have? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. Fine. You want to prove yourself to Theone, right? The military has been a real pain in the ass lately. They've captured some mercenaries who are of interest to her at the fortified warehouse. She needs you to free them. I'll see to it. But it's going to cost you. <laughs> if you make it back alive, I'll fatten your pockets with Drachmi myself. Deal. But first, I have some questions. I've got enough to go on. You better get my Drachmi ready. Come back when you're done. If you make it out of the camp alive. <laughs> He's over there. This area will be well defended. I won't die here, Mistyos. Let me out. <gasps> I thought I was dead! Get out of here! Quick! Before the guards return! They'll execute me! I did nothing wrong! My thanks! I freed the prisoners at the military camp. There were three of them. Did you get them all? Yes, three of them, in all their bold and glory. I guess you're more useful than you look. In that case, the only needs one more task fulfilled. A man needs to die. I'm listening. The Oni's enemies have forces on Hitra Atoll. They're going to use it as a staging area to launch attacks on Kithera. You need to exterminate these pests. I will wipe the enemy off the face of that island. Your humility is moving, Mistios. But I wouldn't underestimate them. No. It's you who underestimates me. Enough pointless chatter. She needs you to take out the captain there. His men should disperse after that. But still... Leave none alive. Will you do it? Consider it done. What more can you tell me? What more could you possibly need? Just kill the man. Tell me what you know about the cult. What cult? Isn't the captain a cultist? He could be a Malacca's god for all I care. Dione says he wants to destroy her for rejecting him. That the only way for us to be together is if I remove him from the picture. Aren't you here for the same reason? To win her over? I'm here to dismantle the cult of Cosmos. I have no time or interest in the priestess. You can't fool me with your cult bullshit. No one can resist Theone's charm. And no one would ever call themselves that. Malakas, cult of Cosmos. 
Whatever. That's all I need to know. We'll send a fat amount of rack meat to your ship when you're done. Excellent. Go! Get out of here! And don't you go talking to Theoni anymore! Or what? Or I'll... I'll... Oh. Just go! Don't look like cult members. Probably just well paid mercenaries. Okay. I've freed your mercenaries and dealt with the captain as you desired. That's good news. You've dealt a heavy blow to the cult's forces. You're getting sexier by the minute. Anything else? Here's your apothecary's bag. With this, we can make sure all our priestesses are armed for battle. Excellent work, Mistyos. I have more questions. About me, maybe? I'll be back. I bet people from all over come here to worship Aphrodite. High Priestess! Open up! So you can kill me? Who sent you? The Oni sent me. I'm a friend. What did that idiot girl send a Mistyos for? I gave her orders to follow, not to delegate. She says you think there is a traitor in your midst. You can't trust anyone these days. What do you want with the cult? They have wronged my family, and it's only right they pay for it. I'll have justice. Family is indeed a powerful motivator. The cult of Cosmos have much to answer for, and they will answer to me. Perhaps you will be of use to me after all. I sent one of my handmaidens to spy on some of our own, and... She hasn't returned. Indeed. Except I couldn't care less about her. It's the information she uncovered I desire. Retrieve it for me. I'll get you the information your handmaiden found. Good. I'll make it worth your while. Now go quickly. She was last seen east of Pilgrim Hill. <gasps> Trust the fates. Hmm. It's addressed to the High Priestess. Uh, she needs to know about this. Well, what of my handmaiden? She was murdered. It might have something to do with this note. It says, don't trust the fates. That's it? The rest of the papyrus is stained with blood. That makes no sense. She protected it with her life. It wasn't for nothing. Now we will never know for sure if there is a traitor in our ranks. But I cannot rule out the possibility. Our situation is dire. Work with the Oni. Secure Kifira for us, Mistyos. Your sister sends her regards. Did you find out anything about this traitor? 
There seems to be a traitor in the temple, but she's unsure who. There was just a note reading, Do not trust the fates. Interesting. It really is as my sister says. We can't trust anyone. Thank you, Miss Dios. I'll watch my back. Is there something else? I've done what you asked. What now? My scouts will meet us at my villa. They'll fill us in on what they've discovered, thanks to your efforts. I have something else to attend to, but... If I get there, and we have some time on our hands, by the fates... <laughs> we'll have some fun. You'd better hurry. I'll see you at the villa. I will. We've been expecting you. Please follow me. She's instructed me to take good care of you before she arrives. Your shoulders must be aching. I'm sure I can help loosen you up before the Oni arrives. You look like you're ready to go. Securing Kithira can wait. Good, because I can't. By the fates! Did she leave already? Yes, quite a while ago, in fact. The Oni said something about the scouts and their report. Where are they? The Oni is done with you. Malaka! <laughs> That's enough, Sherid, priestess. The Oni is done with you, Miss Dios. Now die! What's going on? I, I was just doing as I was told. If the Oni told me to take you to the garden. Please don't kill me! I'm going to kill this traitor. She's on her way to kill the High Priestess at the altar, north of the temple. You'll have to hurry. The altar? Good. Aphrodite will have a sacrifice tonight. Do you trust the face you see in your reflection? I don't. believe you're twins. She's always been jealous of my success, mercenary. Living in my shadow has finally broken her. Kill her now! Lived in my shadow! I loved you, Theoni. I never wanted to be your superior. Miss Dios, you must kill her before she lets the cult take over Kithira. It pains me, but it must be done. You wouldn't feel a thing, you monster. I'm not sure you ever have. Enough! Slay the Oni where she stands! Do the right thing, Mistyos! Slay the Oni! Shut up! You! I see right through you, the Oni. It's over. By the fates, I'll kill you both! <laughs> this is going to sting! <laughs> Wow. 
one less evil in the world. Your cult leader has been sniffed out, High Priestess. My own sister. Ugh, siblings. I hated her. But I loved her too. I know how that feels. You've secured Kithira for me, Mistyos. Now, about the cult of Cosmos. Good thing I killed the right priestess. Indeed. As High Priestess, it is my duty to call out to the Wayward and return them to Aphrodite's bosom. And if you've ever been to Pefka and met its inhabitants, you'll see why divine intervention is their only salvation. I've never been. Lucky you. One of my priestesses was sent there and came back... rattled. She spoke of a man... Melite. What about him? The people living in Pefka are terrified of him. He runs some shady operations, but what exactly, I can't be sure. Maybe this will be of help. Thank you, High Priestess. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time to rebuild. Here. Oh, Mistios, my husband! What's wrong with him? He's an idiot. That's one problem I can't solve. He's a fisherman who thought he could make better drachmi hunting lynx. Spent everything we had on a bow. I haven't seen him in three days. Please, Mistyos, will you find my idiot? Not only will I find your idiot, I'll bring him home. Thank you. He was last seen west of Scandia Harbor. Please, hurry. He's been gone a while. I should get going. You'll find him. I know it. How? Because you're not an idiot. Links, I see him. I can hear you. Please. I... There's so much blood. Your idiot. My love, you're alive. So, are we having links for dinner? Enough about the links. I'm happy to see you reunited. <clears throat> Wonderful. I'll leave you to um here. Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. You're safe here. Ah, my beautiful innocent. If only the gods would allow me time to grant you immortality in bronze. There'll be time. But the weave of my life is unraveling. I need your help if I'm to stop it. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. So, where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. This must be what Phidias was looking for. Phidias is paranoid, but maybe it's not all in his mind. Unbelievable craftsmanship. 
Much better than the statue in Kefalonia. I should get back to Phidias so he can decipher the message. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all the statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? Tell me what I need to do. There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there'll be a clue? Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. And return to me as soon as you have all the clues. Don't worry, I will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 